Hey beautiful! If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive Terran Oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back after a very long time I think I've never like put such a pause on my videos. I think it has become like 10 days now and I really want to apologize for that my dears but I had to take a few days off for myself and yeah I am back and I am really excited to record videos for you guys. I will now try to upload more frequently and I hope yeah you're also looking forward to it just as I do. And yeah my dear today it's all about who will you marry who is your future spouse every month i do an energy update regarding this reading and i think the last time i recorded this reading was in like or it was exactly on valentine's day i believe and yeah now let's do it again let's get some energy insights regarding your future spouse and who you will marry first of all my dear let me get each and every pile one card to select from all right, so the Page of Swords, this is pile one. Let's continue one card for pile two, please. Who will you guys marry? Wow, okay, you got the Chariot card. This is gonna be pile two. And let's get you guys one last card. Okay, multiple cards fell. Only one card, please, for my dear pile three, okay. And we have the Sun card as pile three. All right, my dear. So this is pal one, this is pal two, and this is pal three. Also, if you would like, I can also put some crystals on here so you can choose from them if this is a little bit easier for you guys. So, as always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course also in the comment section. And if you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading with me, you can of course feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, it's not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin! Hey pal one, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see who will you marry who's your future spouse. So first of all my dear I will get you some oracle cards and then we will dive a little bit deeper with some tarot and even some more oracle because I really would like to dive into the topic. So that's enough for my dear pal one. Oops, okay. So the first card we have is clear your mind. Let me get you another card. For my dear pal one, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? Only one card, please. Who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? Okay. So we have clear your mind and we have believe in your good luck. All right. So my dear pile one, let's start with your reading. So first of all, what I'm seeing for you is that with clear your mind being here especially it's giving me a heavy 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 mind or let's say um swords energy and we have gemini here right and gemini is well in the swords energy and it brings this quality forward but I am really picking up more than that. It's not just this card. I see that your future spouse is someone who spends a lot of time in their headspace. They are the kind of person who likes to really think things through. I am definitely getting that this is someone who's more so in the mind and the kind of logical and practical type. I mean, that doesn't mean that this person is not religious or maybe spiritual, but that's not what this is about. This is really emphasizing of how much this person is more so rational. And I see that they really think things through. 
So as an example, let's say this person would like to act upon a plan or act upon something. They will not just rush into it and hope for the best. No, this is not the kind of person. This is someone who will really think every plan through, every step through. And I see that this is a way this person really likes to approach their life in general. It's not like only in their career or only in that you know area of their life. No, this is really universal. And as an example, to give you a few quest, um, yeah, <laughs> examples here, let's just say your relationship. If this person would like to approach you or ask you out for, you know, for a date, they will not just come and do it. <laughs> they will just first think, you know, when it's the appropriate time, when or where, let's say, where they should do it. Or when they ask you out for a date, they first, before that, want to know what you guys do so they can prepare for it and they can let you know. So there is a lot of thinking that this person does. And whether it's, you know, regarding relationships or, of course, regarding their career, they don't act impulsively. They act calculated. This is how I would describe that. And... It could be the case that at times maybe this person overthinks a little bit too much. I mean, of course, when you are too much in the headspace, this risk comes through. And I feel like at times this person does so. They may make something bigger than it is or they may overthink something. However, to be honest, I like it doesn't feel toxic or it doesn't really feel in balance. It's not like they have anxiety or they overthink very badly in which they just worry about constantly. And, you know, this is not the energy that I'm receiving here. It's a very calm energy. It's interesting because we have clear your mind here. So it's kind of like a suggestion or an advice for them to maybe come back, you know, and not really spend too much time over there or in their head. But still, even the amount of time that they do, they're still a very balanced individual. Because the energy that I'm picking up on here is really calm. Yeah. This is a very calm individual. You will not get, or you will not really see them, as an example, getting aggressive all of a sudden. They are very cool, calm, collected. This is how I would describe this individual's energy. And I think it takes a lot for this person to really get angry or lose control, if that's even possible. <laughs> like, I literally heard that, yeah, they are really good in controlling themselves. And you know what's also really interesting? <sighs> These seem very contradicting energies here. And let me explain why. On the one hand, we have this card which is giving me the energy, or not necessarily this card, but really see as it like two different energies being laid here, okay? Because I'm picking up on two different energies here, even more than what these cards say or stand for. On one hand, we have this energy of someone who once again, is cool, calm, collected, very disciplined and very rational. You know, they need to get proof or facts, maybe a more scientific kind of person. But at the other hand, we have someone who, or not someone, but the energy is suggesting someone who gets open to the fact that there is more to life than meets the eye. There is more to life than this logic bubble that they have been in because there are still things in life that we as human beings and especially through our logical brain, we cannot explain because there are things in this world which we cannot see or understand if we are coming from such a limited perception. And it's kind of like this person is 
this is subconsciously because it has not manifested yet into their life at least not for the majority of you guys watching this i see that there is a door opening in their life which is kind of bringing in this a little bit mystical energy you know opening up their receptors i'm hearing to a lot of out there things and it will really trigger this person because they're coming from this yeah really matrix and when you come out of the matrix it's just um <laughs> i mean i don't know why i'm being drawn to that but for all of you guys who have seen the matrix movie the first part when neil gets like um awakened and he like sees the real world and he just loses it and he um has to puke and you know like the drama when you just are yeah when you understand that like life is so much more than than you have thought or you've been taught to you it's a very similar energy i don't know why honestly speaking my dear i am seeing that this person is shifting okay and that doesn't surprise me right now the world is going crazy and i'm not talking about only like things that are happening on the physical world especially energetically because obviously they're influencing that and i just want to say that this is triggering so many human beings and opening their eyes and their perception and it's happening something very similar to this person as well even if this person is the most like uptight person there is and they don't believe in everything and anything else besides what they see they will be there for a rude awakening because this person will go through a spiritual awakening and i feel like a lot of you guys may meet this person if you haven't so far of course take it how it resonates because some of you guys may already be involved with them but i feel like for those who may have not met this person yet you may meet this person at a time where this will have started you know like crumbling down and they may go through a spiritual awakening or to be honest it can also be the case that you will even trigger a spiritual awakening within them because maybe you are the kind of person who's spiritual and through being in touch with you through seeing your way you know your perception and you opening up to them and who you are and what you believe in you may come from such a different place and inviting them into a whole new world that yeah it will kind of trigger them and where they come from from their like comfort zone but honestly this is such a beautiful energy because yes it's contradicting but it kind of feels like a revelation it kind of feels like a much needed change because I am hearing that in a few years like they will think back to this side of them and understand how naive or ignorant they were I'm hearing no I'm hearing ignorant yeah how ignorant they were to just assume that yeah that's all that life is Let me get you guys some tarot cards. Um, this is already starting pretty intense, you guys. But let me just tell you one thing. Throughout this reading, I am feeling such a boost of energy. And oh my goodness, I just saw 1111 on, my, um, on this recording screen. Interesting. <laughs> so yeah, this says a lot about what's coming for this person or maybe even for you guys maybe you are seeing a lot of repeating numbers or you as well are feeling that you are at a very crucial time in your life at a turning point or um maybe even on a spiritual awakening but let me just tell you that um what i'm seeing is like when i started with your reading i had felt this like push of energy through me and i feel full of energy like honestly i think i could carry this reading for like one than more hour because i feel very vibrant and 
it's very interesting because it really depends you know sometimes when you do certain readings you can feel exhausted or you can in some very very rare cases even feel a lot of energized and this is really what i'm feeling right now for you guys so this is an individual who i feel like has a lot going for them like in their life they need to have a lot of energy they need to be always awake and ready because maybe they have a lot of responsibilities that they need to take care of so this is why they may go to bed early in order to wake up early and be you know productive um such as these things so yeah they do a lot but they really have the energy for it so let's see for my dear pile one who will you marry who's your future spouse Wow, nine of pentacles, yeah. Look at this, this is the kind of energy that I'm talking about. It just feels very much and abundant and alive. Interesting, the eight of swords, such a contradicting energy here. Let's see, let's get some more information about that. For my dear Palawan, who will you marry who's your future spouse? We have the King of Swords and we have, yeah, the King of Swords doesn't surprise me at all. It really goes hand in hand with the clear your mind, the source energy that I picked up on. And we also have the Fool card. Let me continue for my dear pile one, a little bit up there so you guys can see the cards better. So too many cards. For my dear pile one, who will you marry who's your future spouse? Let's see. Who will you marry who's your future spouse? Okay. Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Who will you marry who's your future spouse? I feel like someone watching this is very excited. Very, very excited. Like, <laughs> I'm picking up on someone. Maybe even feeling butterflies. I am put, yeah. Ten of cups. Are you kidding me? Wow. I think since the time I got this deck, I never got this ten of cups coming through. Because, yeah, it's, I think it's the first time I'm actually seeing this card. It never came through in this deck for me. Or like in any readings. So the ten of wands. Look at this. Ten, ten. These are the synchronicities, right? So... One last card, and we have the lover's card. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, pile one. And at the back of the deck, we have another ten, the ten of swords. Now, this is so interesting because, all right, you know, the ten of swords for a lot of people is like a very heavy card, and rightfully so. It really signifies a painful ending, even, right? And a very tough situation however it can also be this very well needed ending right as an example sometimes when we find ourselves in a situation that's not good for us we need to bring an end to it however we may be scared of it because ending it means to confront it a last time right or really seeing the, the demons in the eyes however we need to do that so we can finally overcome it and we can put closure on, or an end to it so the ten of swords yes is signifying this painful ending but at the same time the ten which is the ending is also showing us that after every ending there is a new beginning and what i'm seeing is that this person you're referring to my dear is someone who has had a lot of like cycles, like karmic cycles in their life. They may have over and over found themselves in a situation where they felt like life was not good for them. As an example, let's say they grew up and someone they know got depressed or they lost someone and it was really difficult for them or they went through a very difficult time in school and then some years ago they found themselves in a very similar cycle and some years afterwards in another similar cycle and they may have thought well 
I can't get rid of those energies. They always manifest themselves in my life. Now, this person has broken a karmic Yeah, a karmic cycle and this has changed their life so much. I feel like this is the reason why I was feeling or I'm still feeling really, really high like this boost of energy that's coming through for me. It's kind of like someone who has seen so much, yeah, pain and then they finally let go of it and they are so thankful and so grateful to just be out of it and now finally be able to enjoy their life and this is the mentality they have they want to make the best out of it because they appreciate the calming days so much because they know how it is to be stuck in the storm and they are someone who's very passionate it's very interesting because yes i have like this person has a lot of heavy swords energy but at the same time it's not overbearing in a way that they really have lost all the sparks or all the passion for life and they're just like a robot um like really robotic just functioning no they are also really passionate about their life and I said this person's motivation in life once is definitely money, like their career, their finances keep them going and they're really passionate about it. They love to always go to the next level. This person has high goals, high dreams, and they are definitely looking for a certain level of independence and maybe even a status that they are pushing themselves towards or they are better to say working towards and what's driving them what's motivated them is their passion for what they're doing but also the desire because they understand they deserve it and they want to give it to themselves and they know that they deserve so much more in life and for them this much more is financially also yeah they are looking for a better financial situation here now it's also so interesting because the eight of swords came through and i was really interested in you know what this card or what the energy was is exactly about and it's so funny because the eight of swords literally came through with the ten of cups this is the stock energy of hopeful um, I'm sorry, of hopelessness and being stuck and just done, <laughs> better to say. And then we have the Ten of Cups, which is like the ultimate joy, happiness, freedom, fulfillment. They have seen both parts of life. And I mean, of course, right? Every person has. Every human being in one way or another has experienced the duality that comes with this reality, right? But I am not picking up on here that this person, like, the negativity I'm talking about is just, let's say, a negative face or a bad day. No, they have had major, major bad events happening to them in their life in which they felt stuck and I'm mean, hearing humiliated or um, hopelessness and ashamed or just lost and i am seeing that okay yeah i'm hearing they can be really really proud of themselves because they crawled out of the darkness and found their way to their happiness it's all them maybe this past energy was connected to a loved one or even a family member but they have definitely experienced the more suffering part of life and right now they are joyful, happy, in the Ten of Cups energy really, someone who's positive, who enjoys time with their family, who wants to uplift others and uplift themselves. And this is the energy they want to be. This person chooses to be happy. 
they choose to be happy they don't wait for something to happen you know in the future or someone to come into their life no they choose to be happy and it's all from themselves okay it all comes from within them what i'm also finding pretty interesting is that yeah this is definitely someone who's very logical and very sharp they have a sharp mind this can also be someone who's really great as, at communication and that doesn't surprise me at all because even if we just look at this person's career i'm really getting the energy that they interact with others in a team or at least let's say this person could work somewhere where they have maybe clients so the interaction is really really important and this is a professional this is someone who knows how to sell themselves um how to is that the right word <laughs> how to sell themselves like this sounds so weird and so wrong um how to represent themselves <laughs> let me put it that way they just know how to represent themselves um yeah and i see that when it comes to maybe their career they could have a lot of responsibilities as well or um another thing no matter what this person is in their career right now it has not been easy and they have really worked their way like their way up there and it was really burdensome it was not easy they have had their challenges and their failures their mistakes but this person is a fighter a survivor they always keep on going no matter what and this is so much being emphasized here with the fool card because the fool card is kind of reminding me right now of someone who like it doesn't matter how often they fall on the ground they always manage to stand up and start from yeah from the beginning no matter how many times the life right life has pushed them down they always oh my goodness i have never i don't know why today i'm seeing so many like cards or like symbolisms i've never picked up on because normally i am really like i love looking at the cards when i talk right look at that i never saw this here and what is it what is it called again oh my goodness i a letter right letter i didn't see this letter here and okay this is so interesting because in a way this looks like this girl is like walking and then she will fall and then she will just you know come up the letter and then do it again and then try to pass through here eventually so it doesn't matter how often she um like needs to try in in order to actually make it she will eventually and this is really the kind of energy or mindset this person also has no matter how much they suffer in life or no much how often they fall to the ground they always go up and they always find a reason to stand up whether it be in their personal life or in their career this is not someone who gives up no maybe this person has even outsmarted others because of this patient energy that they have or this belief that they have within themselves because they know okay maybe i will not find it the first one or maybe i will not make it the first one but maybe the thousandth time i will or maybe eventually one day i will till then i will not stop trying because when i stop trying i have already given up so yeah this is the energy of this person right here i also see that my dear this is someone who is like um like when you guys meet they are like a white paper when it comes to love so what do i mean with that they are not bringing baggage into your life they are not bringing chapters of their previous partners into your space or into your relationship once again this is someone who understands that we need to 
get rid of what has put us down on our knees because otherwise we cannot stand up again and this is not the kind of person who will self-sabotage you or your connection because they have had some toxicity going on in their previous relationships as an example this is why i got this image of a very blank like piece of paper and with the lovers being here this is a very healthy individual someone who is capable of having a healthy relationship who is not out there for drama or has toxic behaviors or patterns that they are putting upon you no i feel like this person understands that every now and then they need to filter and detox their life and it's not just externally when it comes to other people they understand that we should also detox ourselves and our mind and our emotions so we don't take the same crap with us every now and then i would like to get you guys some more oracle cards to dive a little bit deeper into this topic so for my dear pile one who will you marry who's your future spouse let's see my dear who will you marry who's your future spouse Who will you marry? Okay. Interesting. One more card. And we have the exorcist as well. Yeah. These are... <laughs> especially this energy is what I actually already picked up on right here. Freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. Exactly what I was just talking about. They are a very free person, a very healthy person. They don't take those destructive behaviors, impulses, you know, as the card suggests, or patterns with them into the next relationship. They clean themselves, um, like, when I say clean themselves, I don't mean like physically, I mean energetically you know they understand that like um not what it means energetically but they understand that let's say if they had um a negative previous relationship they need to bring closure to it so they don't let history repeat itself or they don't allow this previous relationship to mess up their future relationships okay also I see that, my dear, this is a message that this card is really giving me. This is someone who's going to be very, very beautiful. You are going to find this person really attractive. They're going to be your type. You're going to find your future spouse attractive. And I mean, ideally, of course, everyone should do that, right? I mean, this physical connection would be nice if it's there. And it is i see this coming through you're really gonna find this person attractive and i don't know why i'm receiving this message that for some of you guys they're gonna inspire you to take even more care of yourself and i don't mean like when it comes to your beauty or physically um i mean maybe some of you guys get motivated for some reason i mean it could be the case but this is not what I mean. I don't mean that when you meet this person, you want to put more um, effort into your looks. I mean, once again, maybe for some you like to do that when you find a love interest because you just want to... Yeah, it, it just makes you excited, right? I mean that they really inspire you to take care of yourself on a self-love and self-care kind of level. To nurture yourself, to eat good, to don't be too harsh on you yeah maybe you you will see the relationship they have towards themselves and this will inspire you or maybe they will literally tell you to be more gentle to yourself no matter your gender we're not talking gender wise here tarot is all about energy and energy alone so yeah this is important to say but actually my dear pal one 
I am not picking up on more information or more messages. I definitely feel like this is already a lot to take in. And yeah, my dear, definitely feel free to let me know how you feel about this. And if there is something that really struck you or you would like to share, you know, something with us in the comment section below, feel free to do so. Also, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't. And if you subscribe, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you will not know when I upload new pick a card or even candle wax reading. And my dear, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. And if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, my channel's Instagram account is in the description box down below. And of course, I invite you there as well. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can of course feel free to email me to get further information. But yeah, my dear pal one, take care, my love. Hey pal two, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? Let's start straight away with the reading my dear. So first of all, I will get you some oracle cards and then later on we will dive a little bit deeper with some more tarot and more oracle cards to come. So let's see, one more shuffle for my dear pal two. Who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? All right. So let's see from my dear pal two, who will you marry? Who is your future spouse? Okay, so we have the card lighten up. Interesting. Let's get you guys one more card from my dear pal two. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, and we have shine. Look at these cards and their energies. They're just so similar, um, but at the same time, a little bit different and really interesting. This one is Leo. This one is also Leo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and at the back of the deck, we have full one and Leo go wild. Mm, yeah, guys. So <laughs> maybe someone watching this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or maybe your person will have this any like fire in their chart but even if it's not the zodiac sign that doesn't matter because it's all about the energy itself this is for sure for sure someone who is extremely energy like energized and passionate and just has such a big personality and someone who just wants to experience life you know this person is really alive and i see that as an example they are an extrovert like they like to be out there experiencing life they don't want to trap themselves or get caged and not experience all the wonderful sights that life has to offer this is someone who is very adventurous and, well, let me first start with that. So what I'm seeing is, first of all, they are very outgoing. This is someone who has a group of friends. For some, it could even be a little bit larger, but they love to socialize. They love to be seen, to be heard. They really like to be the center of attention. This is not someone who's shy. They are confident they are like they know their self-worth this person could as an example also look really really good and be aware of it but not in a arrogant way this is not something i'm picking up on at least not yet we will see where it goes um but they just feel like a ball of energy like a ball of fire you know, like how bright it is and how much power it has, how much energy it gives off and the bright, f like fire color. And it's just so much to, <laughs> to observe, right? It's kind of the same with this person and they have a lot of positive energy. They are a very positive person and this 
vibe they really like to share with others with lighten up i really see that this is what they like to do when it comes to their loved ones they really like to cherish others make others have a good time motivate support inspire if someone has a bad day let's say a friend of them they will offer them to later on maybe after work go out together or hang out together they will know what to say exactly to make this person feel good about themselves as again or about whatever it is that they go through your future spouse has this inner calling or this <laughs> inner intuitive need to see people they love and care about and who are in their environment to to be happy and they love their energy to be co contagious and what i'm also picking up on here is okay i see that this person yeah they're they're really good looking my dear <laughs> that's something i'm picking up on they're an optimist but i think i've said this like over and over again but there is no way to like other way to say it i would not be surprised if in the tarot spread we will get the sun card coming through okay if it comes through i've warned you guys but even if it doesn't it's coming through right now right here i also feel like when this person as an example goes somewhere they are definitely the center of attention or Mm, a lot of focus or people notice them let me put it that way people notice this person not because they do it on purpose they definitely don't have anything against it but it's not like they are pushing their face into everyone's like business or you know like that no they're just minding their own business and they just have as an example a great time with their friends but it's their energy it's their vibe people pick up on it and I feel like a lot of people also like to be friends with them or have this person in their life because of their soothing energy like who wouldn't want to have positive people or uplifting people in their surroundings right so that definitely makes a lot of sense here this can also be someone who really values their fashion sense like they really take care of their appearance they really take care of how they are perceived not that they overly care about what other people think of them i don't really feel that like of course this person may care about their loved ones right but it's not like they're going through the world and they want everyone to like them no they just want to do their thing but they like to be looking presentable and express themselves also through their clothes this person constantly likes to yeah just be very expressive as an example whether it be through their fashion like this person could have in their maybe even teenage years they may have went through a lot of different phases in which they experimented a lot with hair colors or with like different like very different music types to really see where they belong or even like style of fashion wise you know yeah this is a very fun individual my dear <laughs> now i'm really wondering how you are you know maybe you are similar to them or maybe you're not maybe you are the complete opposite and you're watching this and you're just like how how is that supposed to like work i'm an introvert they are completely extroverted or they're so li loud and i am quiet and so on you know because with this light moon being here and this dark moon it's kind of like an opposite energy right although the cards like they look very similar when it comes to their colors but still obviously this is very contradicting or very different better to say 
but you can see there's still the Leo energy and there's still in a way the same or they're still connected so yes they may be different but they are working with each other really really well so for those of you guys who may be asking yourself how you don't need to ask yourself how even if you guys don't share every single personality trait which you shouldn't because that would be a little bit creepy maybe but um all you need to know is that you guys match and hey maybe this is for you to figure out maybe right now you don't understand how but eventually you will and you will understand it now you can speculate and think about it but you need to really experience it to understand it so let's continue my dear pile two so let's see who will you marry who is your future spouse who will you marry who's your future spouse for my dear pile two one last shuffle all right that's enough who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? We have the Nine of Wands. The King of Cups. All right. The Justice card. From my dear pile. Oh, too many cards. From my dear pile two. Who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't. Are you <laughs> the sun card? What did I say? <laughs> I told you guys the sun card would come through. I knew it. And here it is. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me at all. Let's continue. We have the ten of wands, interesting, with the nine of wands and the queen of pentacles. Let's see. The Ace of Pentacles and one last card. Let's see what comes through with the Sun. The Nine of Pentacles. Nice. Okay. Now let me make sure you guys can see all the cards. All right. Okay. So at the back of the deck, my dear, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay. So my dear pile two who will you marry who's your future spouse so first of all i am seeing that this is someone who really takes care of their health and this can come through differently for ever and each one of you but as an example this may be someone who works out really really regularly not maybe particular because they want to achieve a certain body transformation but really to stay fit really to stay healthy as an example to make sure that their like blood circulation is at a good place or you know maybe certain practices or workouts for their for their back you know or whatever like they really take care of their health and you can see it i feel like this is someone who's fit or like someone who is just very bright um as well like the sun card i feel like this is someone who smiles a lot they laugh a lot they laugh is contagious they like to laugh loud okay they don't hold it back <laughs> they really enjoy that they enjoy when they are happy and everyone around them can pick up on it they will not hold back when it comes to that and it could even be the case that this person eats very healthy or is on a certain diet to improve their health they may even do meditation i'm seeing here or certain practices certain sadhanas which help you with your well-being that doesn't mean that this person is necessarily spiritual but 
they like to pick up on maybe different techniques from all around the world in which you can enhance your well-being okay that's something that i'm seeing and this is not someone who feels a lack all right this is not someone who feels like there is an emptiness within them that needs to be filled with something or someone they feel really really great about themselves about their life because they want and they like to be happy this person they may have a thousand reasons why they should be worrying right now or stressed or hate their life but they choose to not to and they choose to see the world through yeah the way they want to and even if this person struggles they still want to feel abundant they still want to feel good about themselves and it really not like shows itself my dear because this person comes from a, such a abundant place and i'm not talking finances here i'm really talking energetically someone who's emotionally happy someone who like mentally speaking they don't fill their mind with toxicity or crap even literally their body they don't fill their body with crap or a lot of processed food i feel like even the food that they eat is very wholesome like this person could eat a lot of raw food such as like raw like vegetables or a lot of fruits because i see this person is very high vibrational and they may eat a lot of high vibrational food in an unprocessed way such as a lot of colorful food right and when we think of fruits or vegetables full of greens full of yellows red purple whatever right orange and this is really what the sun card is kind of expressing to me yeah this is someone my dear who's very high vibrational they are on a high frequency living their life which for some reason this is giving me like someone who's high like frequency look at this girl she is just like it looks like a complete different world or I don't know why I'm thinking of like magnetic fields or electromagnetic fields being here but it just feels like you are up there and yeah maybe you guys will meet this person at a time where you yourself will also feel very abundant or very high vibrational and you will kind of then match this person's energy so you guys come eye to eye could be doesn't necessarily have to be but this is a message that i received so yeah also this is someone who's very fair they have a sense of fairness they don't like when people are fake they don't like when people have masks on this is someone who's very transparent and they also expect this from others so they're very honest and this is the kind of person who wouldn't become upset if a friend of them would give them a really rude comment as long as it's like true you know let's say a friend of them wants for their own good to criticize them regarding let's say certain relationship habits they have which is not good they will acknowledge it they will see okay yeah maybe this person is right maybe this friend is seeing it from a different point of view and i have not really seen it from that like that way because well i'm not seeing it as an outsider so they really appreciate that they are someone who is not quick to fight or to argue this is the kind of person who more so likes to like be humorous um i feel like you guys if you like if humor is really important to you and a partner then you will find this with your future spouse they will really like to make other people smile and make you laugh as well
this person could have recently started a new chapter when it comes to their career they may have changed their career or got a new opportunity into their way and right now they're all about taking this to the next level because they're hoping for a certain outcome as an example if they have gotten a new project they're working really really hard on it to bring out the best possible thing you know to make it a very successful project as an example or if they have now started something new in their career changed their career or maybe even start a side hustle or they may have like multiple careers then they're right now really focusing on this new energy that they have invited in when it comes to their job this is also someone who has a very healthy relationship with money they understand that like in this world we're living in to a certain extent you need money to survive or you need money to be able to get certain things right or to provide for your family at least this is the kind of societies that we are living in or that this person lives in better to say they understand that and yes they are working towards earning good money however this is not the kind of person who will lose themselves because of financial gain this is the kind of person you will see who have not changed one bit like as an example if this person thought okay spending so much money on let's say shoes okay is like if they have thought a few years ago spending so much money on shoes is like so ridiculous now that they have maybe gained more money they will still understand the value of of money just because now they are better off doesn't mean that they have forgotten the days where they were not that good off or a certain shoe price was too much even though it's not now no that this is a very humble person like they have this humbleness when it comes to their finances not that they are greedy but they're just not manipulated by those impressionable things that come with maybe having money because they maybe know how it is to struggle all right I also feel like this person has a certain circle that they are protecting they don't just become friends with anyone or they don't just allow anyone to be their partner they have this very safe circle because it makes them feel good about themselves and it makes them protect their energies i mean yes they like to go out and like to be extroverts interact with strangers chit chats and so on but that doesn't mean that this or that these people will then be a part of their inner circle and they will just you know invite them into their private life and say all their secrets and the most vulnerable things about them no they're really cautious when it comes to that maybe this person in the past has helped up to a few people or maybe even some person could even be love life wise okay but these people have not really used the information fairly or they were not there for good intentions so this person now is really cautious when it comes to who they allow into their life okay this is someone who loves sleeping as well they love sleeping as an example if this person had let's say one week off from work one day you will bet that this person will absolutely only sleep okay <laughs> like they like to relax as much as they like to be outgoing they also like to recharge and yes they like to be surrounded by others and of course especially by their loved ones however 
this is someone who also values to be alone, someone who values to just be in their own personal space and not be disturbed or, yeah. Mm. My dear, let me get you some more oracle cards. Let's dive a little bit deeper into who this person is. For my dear pal Chu, who will you marry? Who is your future spouse? Let's see. My dear pal Chu, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? One more shuffle. All right. So, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? We have the father archetype here. And we have the student. Interesting. Okay. This is so interesting because this is giving me like with the father for some reason. I mean, of course, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but it's giving me more so a mature kind of energy. And with the student here, it's giving me more so... Um, An innocent energy, okay. Not that these two can't go hand in hand, but for some reason I'm seeing here cut. This is one energy and that's the other energy. What I'm seeing here for my dear pal too is that with the father archetype being here, this is definitely someone who loves to, yeah, nurture other people and support other people right i already like it's kind of like confirmation of what i already said but they are someone who likes to uplift others and support others make other people feel good it goes even more than that kind of like the same way a father as an example wants to be a guide or wants to be a support system for their children they're also the kind of same way when it comes to their loved ones they expect their loved ones to come to them when they are having a tough time or some kind of a problem they struggle with. They really want to, like other people to approach them. They don't see it as burden and they don't want other people to think that when they come for help to them, that they're burdening them, you know. In fact, this is exactly what this person wants. They want to be able to be of service. This is something that I picked up on very early on in your reading, but I didn't say it. Why didn't I say it? Because I heard it. Now, now it's coming through again. Anyway, so this is someone who loves to be of service, my dear. So whether it be in their career, but it, this is more so personally wise. They love to offer a hand of help or a hand of, you know, of guidance. They just have this very nat natural gift or talent when it comes to how, like, to approach people, how to make others calm down. Yeah, just like a father who you kind of feel so safe around because, you know, they will be there for you. This is the kind of energy that I'm receiving with this person. You know, they will be there for you. I also feel like that this person on some levels is a little bit more traditional. Now, very important to say, a lot of you guys are watching this probably from like all of around the world and depending on where you are from or where you're living right now, traditions can be so many different things, right? So take it how it resonates, of course. But I feel like this person does have some traditional values. One of them, for sure, family. This person values the family dynamic extremely. Maybe they grew up in a family where they had a parent, as an example, their father, or it could also be their mother, it doesn't matter. But just in general, they had a family which was really supportive and loving. And because they grew up like this, and 
they have all also incorporated or they also have these qualities now that they are older or um, an adult now. And they also want to bring this very safe energy towards towards others. And for some of you guys, yes, this person may want to have a family. Of course, it depends. Maybe someone watching this, they already have children. Then, right, it's all about emerging the two families together. But no matter what your situation is, if you would like to have children, then this person is really open to it, okay? I feel like they have this need of being a supporter or being very nurturing. By the way, the father archetype, um, we're not talking here gender, okay? You can also ask about a woman. It doesn't necessarily need to ask about a man because of the father being here, okay? It's only energy. But regardless of who they are, they really love that. They really love to take care of others as far as they can, right? As far as it's possible for them. Because I feel like this person has a lot of devotion for their loved ones. And honestly, nothing makes them as happy as having a family or being surrounded by their loved ones. No amount of money, no place. As long as they are with their loved ones, they feel incredibly blessed. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. So my dear pal too, this is all I have for you. There was definitely a lot to take in. If there is something you picked up on, you would like to share, you know, something with us, definitely feel free to do so in the comment section below. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you will not know when I upload a new pick of card or even candle wax reading. Also, my dear, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. If you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading with me, you can, of course, feel free to email me as well. Lastly, my dear, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, my channel's Instagram account, is in the description box down below and of course i invite you there as well but yeah my dear pals to take care my loves hey pal three welcome to your reading my dear now let's see who will you marry who's your future spouse so first of all my dear i will start with some oracle cards and then later on we will dive a little bit deeper into the topic with some more tarot so for my dear pile three, who will you marry with your future self? All right, let's start, my dear. Let's can begin. So for my dear pile three, okay, we have embrace the flow of life. Oh my goodness, <laughs> too many cards. One more card, please, for my dear pile three. One more card. Okay. And we have work through your feelings. Interesting. So, for my dear P Pile 3, first of all, let me tell you that this is an individual who has a lot of trust, a lot of trust in life and where their path is heading towards. Sometimes it's so difficult to trust the journey, right? Especially when we may find ourselves in really difficult situations, challenging situations, or a lot of turmoil going into our like through our life, and it's just so difficult to stay positive or to believe that everything is going to work out itself even if we don't even know how or trust that still everything will will be good what i'm seeing here for you my dear is that this person especially through those negative experiences that they have experienced in their life their trust has gained and it has become bigger and bigger 
because they've seen no matter what happened in their life, they still made it. No matter how difficult or painful life got, they still came out of it alive. And this person may even say it themselves, but they have this kind of mentality that whatever doesn't kill me only makes me stronger or at the end everything will work out fine these are two major energies that they are really holding on to and this has helped them so much with their life in general because i feel like this person is now so much more balanced because they don't have the need to constantly control everything because they believe and trust that things will work out. This person may have even gone on different paths or taken certain decisions that like other people thought they were crazy or they will they were taking too many risks. They didn't understand this person how they could just recklessly do this but that is not true because they really believed in themselves and i have said this once like believe my dear can be so powerful it can literally shift like mountains and they understand this person is now a very balanced individual and they really go with the flow of life this is how i would explain it maybe in the past they were really resisting like they were resisting life they were resisting changes as well this can be someone who used to had a lot of trouble with adjusting to changes or accept changes they may have been really really comfortable with just being in their comfort zone and not stepping out too much or at least not stepping out if they didn't have to but this is not how they feel like now they are so centered and they understand life begins where we step out you know and we dare to follow our intuition this is how this person goes about their life even if they don't understand what intuition is even if they are not spiritual you know even if they don't see it from that point of view this inner voice or this inner feeling that is guiding them they trust it maybe they call it a gut feeling you know maybe they don't really understand what it comes from they just know that every now and then they have this yeah this feeling that okay i should do this or i really feel called to go that way they just know yeah they just know this can actually also be someone who if they haven't so far will go on a very significant spiritual journey like a spiritual awakening and i feel like this person has a lot of potential when it comes to their spiritual path and in this lifetime they are supposed to explore that this person came into this incarnation to explore their physical but also spiritual side and they will because they're meant to do it their energy their higher self wanted to or wants them to do it <clears throat> what i'm also seeing is that this person definitely has spirit guides ha heavenly okay like supporting them and helping them guiding them once again maybe they are not even aware of it but they will because it's written in the stars i'm hearing it's written in the stars like eventually they will they cannot fight it because they are tuned in even if they don't understand it but they will eventually 
I feel like a reason why this person is being pushed towards a spiritual awakening is because they have definitely already like done some very very heavy shadow work on themselves even if they don't understand what shadow work is they have still done a lot of self-reflection and a lot of healing they've become very aware of themselves and what i'm seeing here is that it has something to do with their emotions for sure because this card literally says it work through your feelings maybe this person used to be attached to certain people from the past or certain emotional triggers that were still bothering them i am not necessarily getting a certain area in their life that's specifically coming through so it could really be anything it could be a certain family dynamic it could be relationships like even romantic relationships or maybe certain emotional triggers they have when it comes to finances and so on but it definitely was there okay and it was yes i'm talking in the past tense because now they have broken free from that this is more so like maybe within the last two years okay they have worked through this it wasn't easy especially because i feel like like they could be from a place where people are not really that eager to do the inner work right um like they may not be surrounded by spiritual people who support themselves who understand the kind of journey everyone is going through and so on they could just literally be somewhere in the middle like in the matrix and but they're just doing all this inner work while other people don't even like understand it but this person like it's it's not important they don't care they didn't do this for other people they did it for themselves so they have worked through those negative emotional traumas even i'm hearing and they have come such a long way my dear such 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 a long way who maybe it's even connected to their romantic life right maybe they have cut cords to certain people or experiences romantically speaking who were not good for them and now they grew out of it yes it wasn't easy but they have acknowledged it and they now see it as a life lesson now they know that okay when i see those kind of traits in a person this is a major red flag or okay i don't want to bring those patterns back in, into my next relationship because maybe i will self-sabotage it again they're really self-aware and this is such a amazing gift or rather well is it a gift a lot of people work really really hard for it right but it's like such a beautiful quality to have they're really self-aware and i feel like your relationship it's really interesting because in pile one and two i didn't get anything regarding your guys or their relationship with their spouse it was corely like only about their spouse with you guys i am getting some information regarding your relationship with your spouse as well so what i'm picking up on here is that I feel like you guys will have a very aware relationship a very conscious i'm sorry very conscious relationship maybe you guys i mean okay you're watching this so you may be spiritual yourself and i feel like you guys coming together like you will understand how to have a very conscious relationship so you will not just start fighting over like everything you will understand that fighting takes so much energy away of like from both of you guys and you will not want to just 
do that. In fact, what I'm seeing is you will want to make or be a different couple. You would want to show other people that how important it actually is to be to be aware and to respect each other each other's feelings to be empathic and tune in you know i really see that you guys are gonna experience a relationship with this individual that could be very very different from your previous ones if some of you guys of course had a previous relationship at all as an example if someone watching this and your previous relationships were more so like shallow or superficial really all about like being seen and showing yourself a certain way this is so much so much more heartfelt this is so much more this relationship is just between us and we should or we are not here to prove anything to someone we are here to to experience this love and share this love with each other what i'm also seeing my dear pile three i'm sorry i was about to say pile two well maybe some of you guys are drawn to pile two as well if this is the case then definitely feel free to watch this this could be your confirmation Another thing that I'm picking up on here, my dear pal 3, again, I was about to say pal 2, is that you guys will have a very supportive relationship. You will see eye to eye. It's very mutual energy. It's not like one person giving more and the other person literally not showing any effort. No, a lot of mutual energy right here protectiveness as well like you guys are going to be very protective over your relationship maybe because you don't want other people to be in your business or just in general it's just a fact like really really protective energy here look at that at the back of the deck we literally have find a balance and oh my goodness exactly keep your heart open this is what i said or what i meant when i said this is um like it feels like heart centered in comparison to maybe someone's previous relationship your heart chakra is gonna be really really vibrantly open you're gonna feel like okay wow i can I can be loved and I can give love. I can receive love. I can love myself. Like loving is going to be so much more easier than maybe you imagined or in comparison to a previous relationship because you guys are coming from two places in which balancing out the relationship is going to be very very important and coming back to this person i said this in the beginning right a few times this is someone who is in general a very balanced individual so they're also looking for that in a relationship let me get you guys some tarot cards all right now i've talked like over 10 minutes only when it comes to the oracle card so let's now give you guys some tarot i really don't need that much like cards to channel or to read so sometimes i get really carried away and i forget that there are like also tarot cards to come so let's see for my dear pile three who will you marry if you your future spouse all right that's enough for my dear pile three who will you marry who's your future spouse we have the knight of wands yes that's great the three of pentacles for my dear pile three 
Who will you marry who's your future spouse? Let's see. Who will you marry who's your future spouse? The Four of Cups. The Magician. Wow. Wouldn't surprise me if we would also get like some counterparts coming through. Like as an example, the, um, the High Priestess as well. So my dear pile, three, too many cards. Oops. For my dear pal three, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? Interesting. Oh my goodness, the Knight of Wands with the Devil energy. <laughs> we have the Page of Swords. Who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? The Queen of Materials and one last card. And the ace of materials all right let me make sure my dear you can see everything but it looks good at the back of the deck we have the star card wow look at that all right right from the beginning with the star card being here it's really reminding me or kind of emphasizing what i already said at the beginning i really feel like this person has done the shadow work and honestly my dear they are someone who's like they could be a healer even this person can be a healer doesn't necessarily have to mean that they are working in some kind of a healing field that's not what i mean i mean of course it could be but more so no what I mean with it is is really energetically okay for some of you guys I want to be honest I feel like you may be in twin flame journeys your own high level connections like very significant soulmate connections here these are spiritual connections all right I didn't pick up on that in pal one and two but for you guys I do and it's very important to say because these could be the kind of connections in which you guys are serving a purpose you came here at this particular like time on planet earth together to go after a mission right i mean even people who are not awake or not spiritual they can sense that we are living in very very special times right now and if you are in in tune with the energies or with astrology and a lot of insights okay divination you understand that like <laughs> things are getting serious and um like energetically a lot of things are coming up which are of course also shown on the physical level right with like the dynamics in the world we are facing right now or better to say the like last couple of years because the energy really is shifting and is rising as well and a lot of people twin flames soulmate connections are reconciling because well we are living at a very significant time in our human like time and I know I don't like bring these things too much into um, my channels because like honestly or obviously better to say this is only like tarot channel, right? But a lot of things are happening energetically and this is why this doesn't surprise me that a lot of you guys are gonna meet your twin flames or even soulmates, all right? Or you have spiritual connections which are not just there for you guys to experience it by your own but to actually also share your wisdom and your knowledge to help Mama Earth, to help raise the consciousness or help the path that our world is leading towards. So yeah, very intense, okay? Um, the star card being here as well. Some of you guys could literally be star seeds. I think I've never received this message with the star card before, but for some reason, I just heard that. Some of you guys are stark seeds, okay? You are not from this world. Maybe a lot of you guys, sometimes when you 
like when it's at night and you look up to the stars you feel a sensation hitting you you feel very very connected to the sky and to the universe like the planets and so on it's because you're being called and you're intuitively feeling that you have a relationship or a connection that goes beyond this world that you not only belong here but you also belong somewhere else okay this is about the future spouse so let me continue with that but you already see things are getting serious for you guys like definitely some very significant energies a lot of very significant relationship dynamics that are coming together in this very special time so who's this person let's continue my dear first of all what i'm seeing is that your future spouse is someone who's very passionate and very sexual this is someone who has a very active yeah i'm seeing their sacral chakras really um vibrant and like sexuality in this person's life is a huge motivation or a huge way to recharge and i see that in your relationship it's gonna be definitely <laughs> present and you may even explore it a lot okay no matter where you come from no matter if you're experienced or not and no matter how it applies to your future spouse you guys coming together it's kind of like exploring a new world even if some of you guys already have had some intimate relationships in the past still what she experienced with this person is something different it's kind of like a self-exploration journey also with none of wands being here they have a lot of stamina i feel like this person always is ready like to be honest <laughs> it just feels that way and once again we're not talking about gender here we're just talking energy all right so it doesn't matter if you are asking about like whoever we're just looking into this person's energy but yeah none of wands this person is ready to go they are full of energy in general when they approach things in their life they approach it with passion and lust for or, or better to say desire for like greater things this is the kind of person who likes to enjoy the even the finer things in life or they like to spoil themselves they like to enjoy whether it be intimate like intimacy wise whether it be eating good food going to good trips getting to know quality people um who are really good for your well-being like they really enjoy that this person always looks out for things that yeah make them feel excited about life and what I'm seeing is that the intimate connection between you guys from the beginning on will be very, very, like, oh, <laughs> well, on, okay? Also, once again, look at that. I am talking about you guys' relationship so much. This is so interesting because I didn't get this, like, in the other readings at all. With you guys, it almost feels like a relationship is being emphasized here. I guess there is obviously a reason for it, right? There's always a reason why certain energies or certain spreads turn out the way they turn out. This is someone who is a great friend. Someone who people count on. They know that they can trust this person. A very trustworthy person. Even in their career field or better to say in their career work environment they are a great team player very fair they love to interact with others to yeah to help other people thrive as well hmm. it's also something 
they love teamwork. They love to work in a group setting and to exchange their opinion with others. I feel like this is someone who spends a lot of time with their friends as well. Their friends are a huge part of their life. You guys will not only be lovers, you will also be friends for sure. There is this friend dynamic in the spread that I'm picking up on here. And just in general, they are someone who always feels like no matter how far they've come, there is more to life or there is more to explore. As an example, if this person has traveled a lot already, they still feel like, but I'm not satisfied. There is even more to explore. So many adventures that I haven't even thought about yet. They just like to experience. And honestly speaking, I really feel like they're going to bring you out of your comfort zone because some of you guys could be a little bit like different and not really that much um, daring or you may have not really like got out of your comfort zone, okay? But they will push you and they will make you understand, yeah, maybe in the beginning it's a little bit scary because we don't know what's going to come. The out unknown is always scary. However, if we don't take risks, we can't expect maybe different paths to come into our life. Like when we always do the same decisions, we may find ourselves in the same situation. So sometimes we need to change. And I feel like some of you guys may have a very hard time when it comes to changes. And they will really help you with that. Because they will show you that not every change is bad or yes, it's unfamiliar and it can even be scary, but it can also be the beginning of something great. This person is really well off, like independent. They are living very, very comfortably. They have enough. They're also really good at their craft. They're very skilled. Maybe even they work certain like natural talents that they have, which they can take use of in their work environment. Okay, another thing here. This can also be someone who will soon start their own business. That's another message that I'm seeing here. Because they have a lot of potential for that. They have the determination, the passion, the drive. They have the strong will as well. And I talked about the sacral chakra, right? And what I'm feeling is they just have this need of creation, like being creative. They really like to express themselves. So maybe they will start a side hustle in which they can bring this this energy into life. They love to birth things into existence. Their ideas. Their knowledge. Yeah, they really love it. Kisses between you guys will be extremely satisfying. You will love it. It's very interesting because you were the only pile that I also got like some intimate stuff coming through you guys will also yeah maybe this person another message maybe this person has friends who are a little bit different from them maybe even international friends i'm seeing here or maybe for some of you guys you and your future spouse will be very very different from each other maybe even background wise okay let me get you some more information let me get you more oracle cards for my dear pal three who will you marry who's your future spouse let's see who will you marry who's your future spouse all right that's enough too many cards who will you marry who's your future spouse oh we have the shapeshifter i can't look at that <laughs> This reminds me so much at what I said in the beginning of the reading. 
skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness ability to see potential in everything it's this card is really showing me that a lot of you guys indeed are in very significant relationships or dynamics and you came here to trigger something or to birth something maybe even a generation of of light workers as an example for some of you guys you could literally be light workers yourself but regardless of that what i'm seeing is you will together create something all right both of you guys have a lot of potential to help others once again this person is a healer you could literally be a healer as well and you guys coming together you will help others raise the consciousness you will help others become their greatest version or somehow maybe even romantically speaking show others what love can be that love can be something healthy and not the kind of toxic love examples that we are bombarded by the media and so on that love can also be something totally different For my dear pile three who will you marry who will you use your future spouse look at that guide exactly represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself these are divinely guided relationships you guys came here for sure to end a mission or to be on a mission with each other i feel like maybe in the beginning it will not be that important because in the beginning it will be all about you guys' love for each other especially because this is a very significant relationship maybe it will be a little bit overwhelming <laughs> i shuffle the cards just like as fun and then we have mystic here look at this reveals an intimate union with the divine yeah you guys for sure there is no doubt about that <laughs> And in the beginning, maybe you guys will not focus too much on like purpose and like missions you guys could have together. It will be more so about you enjoying yourselves and your love. But as time goes by, you will receive certain messages and your spirit guides. And also kind of like the world is gonna open your eyes to, okay, this is not only a relationship for us, but this is also about the world it's also about bringing love to other people right i'm very curious how you guys feel about that because well maybe some people like it but other people may have a very difficult time to accept it even i'm very curious definitely feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading generally speaking my dear thank you so much for allowing me to read for you to connect with your beautiful energy i hope that this reading brought to you some energy insights regarding this person and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't if you subscribe definitely don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you will not know when i upload me pick a card or even candle wax reading also, my dear, if you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading with me, you can, of course, feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, my channel's Instagram account is in the description box down below. And, of course, I invite you there as well. But, yeah, my dear pal three, take care, my loves.